when I was six years old, I wrote a will after losing a game of Connect Four to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds plausible enough, David. You wrote a will. Yes, uh, yes. What was the? Uh, well, did I mean, on a proper will form, or did you? I didn't engage a lawyer. No, you did. Uh, <laughs> it was just on um, that stripy paper you get at school. Oh, the stripy paper. And yes, what, okay. what possessions did you leave? Well, all I really had was the Connect Four set, uh, <laughs> and I left it to my dad as a deliberate act of spite because he'd beaten me. I mean, he'd beaten me at Connect Four. That is. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember how the, how you phrased it in this will? So I think I began it, but you know, because I've because I've been beaten at Connect Four. Uh, there's no point in living anymore. I hereby leave my only cherished possession. <laughs> I maybe had about sort of ten pounds or something. There were a couple of other things I think in the will, but that was it. wasn't There wasn't much to it. So what was it about this game of particular game of Connect Four? Were you used to beating uh, your father at Connect Four? Well, I uh, even I don't want to go into details because it brings back unhappy memories, and also people at home might not know the game. But without wanting to be too technical, um, he connected four. And I sort of... <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a quite a built-up tournament, you see. It was a sort of best of seven again. My dad called it the Watson Cup. I, I grew up in quite a competitive family. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and when I lost, uh, it was just too much to take, really. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> it, it was horrible. So you lose at Connect Four, you yep. throw a bit of a tantrum. Oh. Well, like, you call it a bit of a tantrum. I lost 4-3 from 3-1 up. And, yeah, but presumably... <laughs> You storm upstairs yep. to your room. Y yep. You take out a fresh sheet of paper. Yep. You write the bitter will. Uh, yes. What do you do then? I thought that my parents would panic, think I was dead, become guilty, and what, my dad. Why would... would they think you'd stormed upstairs to your bedroom? Why would they assume you were dead? Oh, sorry. No, I went downstairs and left it where I knew they would see it. Yes. And then the you time, went back uh, upstairs. They were watching Wogan, so they were distracted. All oh, right. <laughs> Ah, I think it was working. <laughs> young Mark Watson there. He's about to, about to take his own life, don't you know? <laughs> First, Chris Rea, the road to hell. <laughs> As you were. Right. Yeah. Uncanny. <laughs> How did your mum and dad react? Um, my dad saw through it pretty quickly. He came up the stairs, knocked on the door. I said yes, and he said, I thought not. <laughs> <laughs> David, um, what do you think? I believe this. You believe it? <laughs> yes. Um, do you believe it? Uh, I believe it too. I believe it too. He's a very sensitive child. You can tell that yeah. even now. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, David, you're, you basically are saying I, you think I it's think true. We'll say it's true. We're, we believe it. Yeah. Mark Watson, truth or lie? It was true. true. Yes. 